Hi, Hi viewers. viewers. In today's class, I'm going to discuss on the topic differences between LED and laser light. So here uh, in optical fiber communication, these are the two basic light sources that we use for the transmission of the light signal. So basically LED means nothing but a light emitting diode. Uh, laser is light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. So from these simple definitions, uh, we can understand that these both the small devices are capable of producing the light. We will see the fundamental differences in both of them. So LED light is uh, arises from the spontaneous emission. So basically what is spontaneity? Spontaneity means instantly by its own also we can say. So for understanding this, I am just showing a very simple energy level diagram. So this is higher energy level and this is lower energy level. So just we will name it as E1 and E2. Usually electrons in the higher energy level are unstable. So always they try to fall down to lower energy level. So while this process is happening, when an electron is trying to fall from higher to lower energy level, here what happens is it releases some amount of energy in the form of heat or light that we call it as a photon energy. So that just I am indicating with H nu. This energy is emitted outside in the form of a light. That uh, light itself we are referring as a light emitting diodes light. So this all this process is happening by its own. That is nothing but by natural tendency. And here there is no external agent or anything. And the light that is emitted from LED is an ordinary light, right? So now we we'll look into the laser diodes uh, simple concept. Here what we are saying, laser diode light arises from stimulated emission. Uh, in a simple word we can say by forceful emission. Here also the same we can refer to energy levels E1 and E2. So here E1 is unstable state and E2 is a stable state. Usually what happens by natural tendency, usually the electrons from higher state falls to lower one. So here also the same thing will be happening. But additionally what we are going to do in laser is we are going to insert some ext external agents. That, uh, that is the purpose of this external agent is by introducing this external stimulated electrons what happens is they make the electrons fall from this level to this level forcefully. While this is happening Again, some amount of photon uh, energy is released that we are referring as H nu 1. And by natural tendency, by natural photons, incident photons, again we have the photon energy H nu 2. So here what is happening, just observe clearly, by external agent, additional amount of photon energy is released. But here in this case what happens is, these two photon energies will be in same phase. And this process we will achieve with the help of a technique called population inversion. And this is mm, done with a technique called pumping technique. Pumping means nothing but we will use some external electrons injected into this laser and make this operation as simple as possible. And in this what happens is by external stimuli this emission process will be very very accurately done. And uh, all this uh, stimulated emission will be taking place and leading to the uh, laser diode light that is emitted externally. And now the next point is uh, for LED the beam of light produced is non-coherent in nature. So why here the light is non-coherent in nature? Just we will uh, refer this to previous case itself. Here what we said in LED the light is emitted without any external stimulation process right so in that case what happens is a randomness occurs in this case <coughs> that is light energy is random in phase that is simply we can refer it as like isotropic energy that is energy will be distributed like this in different directions but as you can come for the case of laser here what is happening the light is taking the coherent form or coherent in nature. Why this is happening? Already I said, here what will happen? The photon energy is released will be of same phase. And here, for obtaining the same phase condition, even the laser structure also supports. Here an optical cavity section exists in laser. Uh, uh, because of that optical resonant cavity also, the light will be 
having more directionality as you come for the case of uh, uh, led there is no such type of optical resonant cavity so this because of this fundamental difference always the led light is non coherent in nature whereas if you come for the case of laser it is purely coherent in nature next difference is the structural uh, or construction if you see here this type of laser we call it as a edge emitting led and this we call it as fabry perot laser and in this edge emitting led diode actually this is formed with the help of p injection structure i am not going into detail section and here you can see the output how the output of uh, is appearing in led this type of output we call it as a lambertian output whereas for uh, laser the type of output we are obtaining is very narrow type of output and directional output so in this uh, laser cavity in this laser uh, we we will be having a optical resonant cavity whereas such type of cavities are not present in the case of a led Uh, because of this what happens is here a particular wavelength selectivity is not possible and even the photons are out of phase in case of this led structure quite a uh, reverse way in happens in the laser structure next point is the response time is slow in led whereas the response time is uh, very fast compared to led here what is response time it is nothing but how fast an electron input drive signal can vary the light of output level that means simple the electrical input how fastly it can be uh, varying according to the light output so in uh, led what happens is this process is a little bit slower but whereas if you come for the case of led the response time is uh, sorry when you uh, come for the case of uh, laser the response time is faster next the driving current ranges from 500 to so here what we are happening is uh, we will take the case of uh, driving current ranges here we compare the both of the driving current ranges comparatively we can see the different uh, levels and now the next point is simple circuit if you go for the case of led what is happening the circuit structure is very very simple why because in led there is no need of any stabilization circuits or uh, thermal optical stabilization and thermal stabilization circuits if you come for the case of laser the circuit is very very complex why because here the temperature conditions are not stable to make them stable again we need to provide additional circuitry in the form of stabilization circuits all those things and also in laser and led one of the another difference we can find out is here in led there is no need of any feedback type of structure as you come for the laser some cases uh, feedback structure is need to be maintained next coming to the point of numerical aperture numerical aperture simple definition is uh, nothing but it is a maximum light gathering capability if you come for the case of led the value of numerical accept, uh, aperture is high compared to the uh, laser structure numerical aperture of the obtained light beam is low in case of laser output power is linearly proportional to the drive current in led whereas output power is proportional to current above the threshold level if you come for the case of led the transmission distance is smaller that straight away from the output itself we can um, declare that why because the level of output that we obtain in the led is of low level and uh, it is in non coherent in nature but if you come for the case of laser it is having high directionality uh, so it it can be travel for a longer distances the data rate is very low in case of led it is just around 100 to 200 M mb per second whereas if you come for the case of laser the data rate is also very high and here one more point is this uh, laser uh, led structure is less sensitive to temperature whereas if you go for a case of uh, laser it is more sensitive to temperature to balance it we need uh, additional circuitry also 
uh, as usual led as its size is very low and its maintenance is very even, its cost is also very low but if you come for the case of laser its manufacturing cost is high in the case of led the bandwidth is moderate whereas for uh, laser the bandwidth is also very high here the coupling efficiency is very low it is interdependent to the numerical uh, aperture uh, concept and here the coupling efficiency is high the spectral width is broader that is just around 20 nanometers to 100 nanometers in case of uh, led and here the spectral width is narrow just 1 to 5 nanometers so compare if you compare these two things LED and laser, application point of view, both are important. Laser is suitable for longer distances and where we need highly directional narrow beam width type of condition, we will prefer the laser. And for shorter distances and for low range of applications, we will be preferring the LED source. Thank you.